This is an interesting, you know, interesting tangent. <laughs> yeah, Co- Cody usually runs the show, so it's a little bit different tonight. I'm running the board. Hey, man. Radio. Sometimes it's just got to be BS. That's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been running definitely. a show for a long time now, I could tell you that. But, uh, yeah, the gas prices here just have always been more expensive. So, uh, thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, he seems yeah. to be the scapegoat these days, right? He's on yeah. his way out, just like, lay everything it's on. Like, him. well, Trump's Trump's leading the polls. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that one video that came out a couple of years ago of uh, Obama going to dunk his like Oreo cookie into some milk, <laughs> and the uh, the glass is too small for the cookie, and he just turns to the camera and says, "Thanks, me." <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Did he actually do that? Yeah! yeah. Wow! Yeah, that's, that's an actual video. He's really funny. He's, yeah. <laughs> at least he's a. Uh, I mean, you may not like him as a like a politician and the way he's led the country, but he's he's a classy guy. He's got some charisma he's, to him as well. Yeah. yeah. I that's, think that I think that's kind of important for a role as high as that to oh, have yeah. some sort of sense of humor. Yeah. He he really pl- takes it lightly. I mean, he's he's going to get criticism no matter what. Even if he's doing a great job right now, anyone he's a lot of anywhere will get criticism for, for any mm-hmm. single thing. Especially they do. 2015, the year of everyone being offended about everything. <laughs> I'm offended by that statement. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Proof is in the pudding. You got the, yeah, you got the flags. You got the cups. Everything, man. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I think the cups is one of the silliest ones. With the yeah. Starbucks cups? Or yeah. Because yeah. you notice the, the thing everyone's talking about sociopolitically, like before and after the cups, were like these big major issues dealing with like loss of human life on a massive scale. Yeah. And then just in the middle, it's, well, Starbucks's cups are kind of offensive. <laughs> <laughs> if I am I president, know. if I'm president, I those will. cups are going back. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're going to have <laughs> snowflakes, I guarantee <laughs> it. Snowflakes, a classic symbol. <laughs> oh, man. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, Ben Carson's dipped down to third place now. If you guys been watching it all, um, second place is Rubio for the first time. Oh, really? Wow! Yep, Marco Rubio, Florida, Florida Center. Yeah, how's gas down there? <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask somebody else on that. <laughs> is that a thing down there? Thanks, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we know. Well, uh, only if you're Jeb Bush. Sure Jeb really doesn't like Marco because he's taking all his voters. So. That's true, it's but it, it's Jeb's own fault. He's acting like an idiot. Yeah, true. Yeah. I cool. love that one campaign that um, Jeb Bush's team put together. Um, this was, oh, about a month ago, <laughs> um, where they tried to do, like, a trending hashtag on Twitter where it was hashtag Jeb can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as that came out, everyone just immediately remembered that Jeb Bush was the governor of Florida back during <laughs> the whole electoral college mess in, like, yeah. 2000, 2001. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, Jeb. Oh, geez. Family guy's taking a few punches well, at that. I will oh. say I'm quite relieved because I was, I thought, I thought back in the summer we had a good chance of a Bush Clinton election. Oh, that, w- <laughs> oh. that would have been terrible. Because we want to do, no. do the same things again. Is that what we need as a country? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't see, know. But I think that's for the voters to decide. But. See, I think regardless of what you think of Hillary Clinton or Jeb Bush, if the election came down to that, in effect, that would prove that since 1988 in the U.S., other than the uh, Obama administration, from 1988 onward, every single administration would have been run by one of two families. Wow. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of scary Sounds to Sounds like think a about. dynasty to yeah, me. Yeah, it's like an <laughs> oligarchy. <laughs> The the Obama family, an outsider. Maybe there's another Obama out there looking Michelle to Michelle, maybe. Get too big for her britches. Who knows? 